feet. Say. Nothing. We're not getting any feet from anywhere. Why not? There is none. No transmission. There's no transmission. Where is that ass's jawbone? The Etika? Shall we pray, save us prayers? He doesn't understand. He's too stupid. Oh, Lord, get me out of this for the sake of the supply of defects, heretics, schismatics, liberties, asthmatics, atheists. The last of our sorcerers, Mohammedans, Jews, and idolaters. And everyone else who's come to this sticking, unbloody sacrifice. Oh, orgiastic pelican of disaster, bleed us no more. Perhaps we've been too impatient. Icky dicky parley boo! I told you never to say such a thing! Perhaps we've been too patient. Perhaps we've been too impatient. Shall we wait an interval? No more intervals! Translate, please. Because of your thrashing arrogance, you have gone far beyond yourself into something else. You've become someone else! Por tu asotante arrogancia, te has distanciado de ti mismo y te has convertido en otra persona. What have they said? Mit ihrer prüfenden Arroganz sind sie weit über sich hinausgegangen. Etwas anderes, sie sind jemand anderes geworden. Because of your thrashing arrogance, you have gone far beyond yourself. You have become someone else. But where are they? Send this. They've hidden themselves inside a strategic hamlet. By their message machine, their interpreter. Sie haben sich an einem strategisch günstigen Ort versteckt, entwickelt von ihrer Botschaftsmaschine, ihrem Übersetzer. Se han escondido dentro una estratégica habichuela creado por su máquina de mensaje, su propio coordinador. They've hidden themselves inside a strategic hamburger created by the message machine, their coordinator. There's been a false report. There's been a false report. It was an operative and so we could not operate with it. No funcionaba. Por lo tanto, nosotros no podíamos funcionar con ella. Es war undurchführbar und deshalb konnten wir es nicht durchführen. It was an operative and so we could not operate with it. Holy shit. What about our experts? Our experts are nothing but a cabal coffee clatch of incendiaries and horoscope readers. Sus expertos son nada más que expertos en leer horoscopos y ser revolucionarios de mesa. Hurenhändler und Wegbereiter hacken sich den Weg frei in unbekannte Gebiete. Whoremongers and trailblazers hacking their way into unknown territories. Mrs. Peabody. She's trying to therapize us with some weird linguistic retraining of our human nervous system. She knows we're nervous. We're not nervous. But the rest of the message is unclear. Not so clear. Some kind of syntactics going on. Oh, my dear. Not again. I cannot... Oh, call in the theoretician. Number 27, uh, receptionist, por favor. But the nobody disagree. And wholeheartedly, wholeheartedly, wiggly. We've all agreed to do so in every reaction we make. We signify our agreement. And so must agree. I don't understand this. You're not supposed to. But I want to. You don't have to want to. Why should you want to if you're not supposed to and you don't have to? But I must! Don't take it personal. You're just a functionary. What are you waiting for? Call in the theoretician! What is she gazing at? I feel a dread coming by. There are natty dreadlocks. There's no dread in here. Don't. I couldn't bear it. But why? I'm your doctor! Please don't! But I must listen to your palpitations to keep track of them. Please don't! Isn't there any other way to listen? Can't you look at my veins? They're pulsing. No, that won't work. And get out of that get up, that costume! Don't you like it? No. Remove it from your spindly body at once. I will not become naked. You will remove it at once. Take it off. Or have it cleaned at least. It smells. I told you, that's the armada redman and the rats. I killed the last one myself. How? I stabbed it with a stick. It was rustling around in the garden. I stabbed it and it let out a gigantic squealing chill and inhaled a tire screech. It was thrilling. Oh, baby, please don't talk about such things. It's not good for me. I'm so sorry. Please change the costume. Yes. Please don't touch me. You don't want me to touch you and yet you ask me to remove my clothes in your presence. I don't understand your pre sentiments. And then you begin to talk about rat killing and bloodletting and chilling, screeching. What is the meaning of this? What can be the reason? Armadillo. Excuse me! I can't stand the smell of the cooking armadillo. It's the ruddy army armada. I told you the smell is similar because of the same way it is cooked in its armor. Well, can't you peel their armor off and let them rot in the free air? Fifteen thousand men? Impossible! We don't have that many can openers. The thought is repulsive inundating. How long will those stinking bubbles of stench keep rising from the bottom of the harbor? They only want to be free. Champagne, anyone? Doesn't matter, none of them are reader, writer, barely speaking. Eligibly. Then how did they function? Hardly at all. How could they fight? They were trained but never got the chance. Now they're bubbles in the tide, one-armed bandits. This battle has worn me down to cinders. Dust particles. Is it raining yet? Cancel the dinner. I couldn't look at it, much less eat it. It would remind me of my wonderful little army. I would feel like I was eating them, one by one. Shall we dress up the pecans? Yes, and I'll shell them myself. Would you like a hammer? No more folk songs, please. My knights in shining armor. The kitchen, the cook, the pots, the pans, the food, everything down at the bottom, completely alvidated. No, I will never alvidate them. They were the flying wedge, the front weight, the first line, the mystery phalanx. Outflanked and inundated, but never to be alvidated. Serve the rice and milk. I hate that shit! And so not surprisingly, you will eat it! That stench is lifting me higher than I've ever been lifted before! It's quenching me! You're nothing but a downhearted moon dog! You've been harboring something in the harbor, haven't you? What harbor? The harbor, the secret harbor. What secret harbor? Well, there is a secret harbor, isn't there? No secret, no harbor. Yes, there is. What have you been harboring? There is no secret harbor! Well, the rest of the army, where is it? It's all at the bottom of the harbor. I told you! Yes, you did tell me, but the rest of it, it's not all there, is it? Yes, it is. 
It's in the secret harbor, isn't it? The rest of the armada! I told you, they're all dead! They're in the harbor, the secret harbor, where you have been harboring them! They're all dead, and there's no secret harbor. Call in the theoretician. We are going to raise the titanic lie you have told me. A rat's nest! That's what this is, isn't it? And where is the secret harbor with the secret remnants of the secret army you have not told Let me, me about? Let me interpret and interrogate! Not again! There isn't any harbor except the one we can see from here with the foam on it! Where's the secret army, then? Why would you say that? Where is it? Where is it? At the bottom of the harbor! Where is his body? We can find it, but we have an eyewitness. Who's eyewitness? Bring me the eye that saw it, and if you can't find it, I want that lying eye pulled out! Where is the secret harbor? Where is the eye that saw Cabeza go down? Whose eye saw Can I get a witness? Yes! Can I get a witness? Then bring me that eye! Where did your eye see this from? From the balcony of Battleman number three. It's recorded but where is it? It's recorded on videotape, you asshole! Don't interrupt me! Where is the tape of the sinking? This did happen, am I right? He did not go down. He's secretly hiding with the secret army in the secret harbor. That no one has told me about! Me on island somewhere. Am I correct? Maybe. Then correct me. Don't touch my eye. We'll touch it. There seems to be some kind of disruption, a rupture, a lesion. It's as black as an olive. Can it see well? Very well. Then what did you see? Did Cabeza go up or down, or was he there at all? What did you say about the secret harbor? I didn't say that. Yes, you did. Bring me that little goat. You are not to go to the disco tonight. Please. There's no videotape of Cabrito. I'm dazed, confused, slightly crazed. Perhaps it's a sunstroke you're imagining you will have if you don't tell me. Would you like to spend the afternoon busting rocks and eating grits? I want the body of Cabrito when you're right in that order, and then I want the identity of the secret harbor where you've been having a secret army. My Dead army, but your living secret army! What have you been harboring? I planted the seeds of the olive that will eat me alive, am I right? By letting them rot and fester, separated from everything but comic books. I told you all they can do is kill chickens, and now they will. You've sown the seeds of the olive that will eat me alive. Petitions and pickaninnies and armies, little flowers that will choke me. Morgan, yes, your future listeners. Waiting in the harbor, he sends an avalanche to Zazienda. Bangladesh! The waiting in the harbor where Malaria is king, the best and the brightest, the least and the darkest. You've been secretly harboring in a secret harbor, teaching them boulderism and terrification. Conglomeration of intravenous subterfuge. The bug is bitten, don't you agree, Mrs. Peabody? Yes, indeed. You've taught them only one thing, one word, a word to end all words. In the end was the word, and the word is with me. You've been absorbed, assimilated, rejected! And I contraindicate that you have been infiltrated, infected, and deformed, and we vote to abolish ourselves. And thereby you, as your council of electrocutors, we have spontaneously aborted! As compartment coordinator, I reject this abortion and dissolve you to the mud flats effective immediately! You've been electrocuted, we told you. You are no longer compartment coordinator. And what am I? A veteran of gangbangs and girly shows. There will be no baseball tonight. Serve the enchiladas. Cold if need be, but we have to eat. Do not serve the enchiladas. Serve the armadillo. Call the Jumbotron, the Telemundo, and contact the space cadets. What does the feed say? Icky dicky parlez vous. Icky dicky, no parlez you. Parlez, I say. No parlez espanol. Where is the scribe? Drowned in his own ink. Look at the way he looks at him. Isn't that the look of love? We've reached an awkward impasse. My compartment has imploded. What happened? I'll start with a luxurious battalion of whispering pixies behind him. No assembly required. A bitter fruit, a sour grape, trying to butter me up and have me for dinner. The reporter reveals that in no uncertain terms, in certain terms, a second guess is required. Her confident is the son of a bootlegging swashbuckling Creole. With what? With stick that's an unspoken threat. He's dead dedicated. With what? His arm, his leg, his legacy. You're such a nevis! Eddie! What's going on over there? They're having a bee in, a shit in. Please! Try and be discreet. Repeat. The secret circle, the secret square. It reveals that you are nothing but a swashbuckling son of a bootlegging Creole, an untouchable. Sour grape, a loose cannon trying to butter me up by making me bite the bullet. Bitter sour grapefruit with a battalion of whispering pixies whining behind you. I can guarantee you in no uncertain terms, black lung. Isn't that the look of love? No, it is not. A cigarette burn on the sofa. No one smokes in here, you know that. The burn, pure shame-based poison. And you've had too much sangria. You haven't had enough. Call Article 6, Particle 9. The question of the Sarajevo. You're accused of burning objects. What? Where is she? Burning objects. What kind of objects? Forgive me, Father, I know what I have done. I know what I've done. I've done my destiny to become a national jackass in the process. In revealing yourself, you have to reveal nothing. Dereliction of duty, misadventures, and full army drag. Does it hurt? Here? 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 What about that? Ow! What did you do to deserve that? Would you like to be a hamburger? Call a lockdown. She's asleep, buried alive in the blues. Yes, a hamburger would be great on the grill, the barbecue pit. It's not going well, we're afraid. I want to fire everyone. I don't trust anyone. Something keeps getting stuck in my tooth. Perhaps a drop of poison. Perhaps I've been too patient in my suspicions of plans for my removal. You've trashed your dress! Oh, yes, that? I don't like it. Too restraining, confining. It's a straitjacket. I felt like a jackass in sheep's clothing. Give me that paper, you contrived, constipated, co-opted! I have discovered, located the black olive of poison concealed in your incendiaristic repulsion of me. You're controlled by silly men in bow ties, screaming pixies and pickaninnies and penguinies, twisted into a Gordian knot around your neck. 